Hello, it's a beautiful day. I just got back from Santa Fe. And today, or over the next couple of days, I'm going to be unboxing probably the biggest donation to uh, the weaving studio I've had in a long time, or will probably ever have. This is one of two vehicles filled full of weaving equipment. Um, it goes way back all in there. So I will uh, be unboxing this and um, you'll be coming along with me. So this particular loon in the front is coming with me. It'll be in my room and I can do some work on that on days like Sundays and stuff, uh, mainly for testing and doing some other things. But anyway, let's get this started. So this is the stuff staying down here with me and I'm going to go through it. And then as I sort through it, I'll move it up to where the rest of the looms are. So let's go and unbox some of this and see what we have. So this is box number one. And inside we have various yarns. I think that's all that's in this one. Looks like. Warp. Yes. So this is various yarns. Yep. Okay. So that's what's in this. So I can, I'll leave this down here and sort through this later because I definitely won't have any room up in the weaving studio yet. Um, I did clear out some cabinets earlier this week. Today is Saturday, so tomorrow's Sunday. Okay, let me go get another box. Okay, so this is box number two. Let's see if I can. Then this one has more than just yarns in it. Oh, this is great. And the person that donated this, I won't say the name yet, um, is going to help me source a lot of this so I can, can buy more of it. Because that's one of the problems I'm having now, being that I'm using somewhat donated yarn, is that it's hard to find where some of this stuff comes from. So I can see already there's some things in here that I really, really needed. So this is great. I see a um, bobbin winder, electric one, another flying shuttle. This will be great. I love using these even when I'm not using the flying shuttle um, loom. These are for when we're doing tapestries and things like that. So this is great. This is for tensioning uh, when you're setting up your loom uses for tensioning the uh, the yarn. So I have two of those, so that's good. Some of these things, I'm not quite sure what they do, so I'll have to look them up and they're gonna help me with that. But this is great because it's an electric bobbin winder. Um, that That's gonna help quite a bit. Oh, and definitely these shuttles. These are great because I don't have any shuttles. Oh, look at this, awesome. Love these. This is great. Uh, so here's the, oh, this is the bobbin winder, and it's got a counter on it too. I just bought some of them; they were really cheap. But this is a good one, and it's got a, a foot pedal, so it keeps your hands free. And this is just an extension cord. Okay, so there's. Two more, there's actually three more boxes, but I left the other two there because they are parts for the loom. So we'll look at them later. In fact, I think this is another parts for the loom. This is a spinner. Um, that'll go to Father Zachary. Oh my goodness. These are weights for when you're making the carpets. So again, this will just go right back on up. And you will see more of those later. Yeah, a lot of this is parts of that, of the bigger, bigger loom that Father, um, oh, I can't remember that. Father Columba has that from right now. Oh my. Um, yeah, so it looks like I can take, put this one back in for now, because it's all parts for the loom that, uh, it's not here yet, it'll be here in couple of minutes so I'm gonna finish off this one last box over to my right side be right back okay here we go this is the 
last box. That is a bobbin winder, and I've got one of those. I mean, not a bobbin winder, but a um, for putting wool into these little cakes. So we've got one of those, but I may leave this one down here with me. Be easier to instead of having to run up more wool. Yarn, I think that's all that's in this one is yarn. Looks like it. Yeah. Okay. I see a few things down at the bottom, but I think they're just, yeah. There's more little shuttles in this. Oh, wow, that's a, nope, that's not a homemade one. I thought this was a homemade for slaying the reed. Um, that's kind of neat. I've never seen a wooden one like this. I actually might like this one, especially for your bigger yarns. This will catch and hold on better. I think there's a piece broken, but I've seen two or three of these already in this collection. So, and that's nice to have a small one. I think I saw a couple of these smaller um, shuttles. So that's good. And if I see anything else in this one, I'll come right back. Otherwise, next time we'll be up at the... Um, up in the weaving shop unloading things. Okay, so here's a few books that were given to me also. And this one here I actually had a copy of, but this one is actually, what's nice is that it actually has its binding. The other one I had to rebind, but it came out okay. I did a spiral bind on it. And I'm going to leave this one down here with me so I can read it. But that's it for now. Um, so that's it for this video. I will come back later on and on the second video and we'll unbox or unload the loom and all that. So look forward to that. God blessing and thank you for the lady that donated this. I won't say the name right now, but you know who you are. And um, we'll send a nice little letter to you and everything. God bless.